Porbag diagrams provide a graphical representation on a potential versus pH plane of phases or species that are thermodynamically stable in an aqueous environment. These diagrams are very useful in the study of corrosion as they enable us to identify specific regions of pH and potential where a metal is either immune to corrosion or susceptible to it. Moreover, they show regions where a stable oxide may form on the metal surface, making the metal passive. Porbi diagrams are derived using the Nernst equation. The Nernst equation allows the calculation of the potential for an electrochemical equilibrium under non-standard conditions. It is derived by subtracting a term from the potential under standard conditions, which equals the gas constant R times the temperature T divided by the product of the equivalent number N and the Faraday constant F multiplied by the logarithm of the reaction quotient. Consider the general equilibrium between species A, B, C, and D, where oxidized species are written on the left and reduced species on the right. The Nernst equation, in this case, can be expressed as the ratio of the activities, approximated by concentrations, of the reduced species, each raised to their respective stoichiometric coefficients, in the numerator, and those of the oxidized species in the denominator. This expression of the Nernst equation can be applied to an equilibrium involving hydrogen gas and hydrogen ions. If we do the maths, the equilibrium potential for this equilibrium at room temperature and under a hydrogen pressure of one atmosphere is minus 0 0.0591 times the pH value. Having derived this equation, it can be plotted on a potential versus pH graph. This equation generates the line corresponding to this specific electrochemical equilibrium. For conditions above this line, the oxidation reaction is favored. Conversely, for conditions below this line, the reduction reaction is favored. The same calculation can be repeated for this reaction involving oxygen molecules and hydroxide ions. Upon working out the maths, we find that the equilibrium potential is 1.227 minus 0.0591 times the pH value. This equation can similarly be plotted on a potential versus pH graph, generating a second line. Above this line, oxidation is promoted, so oxygen is stable. Below this line, the reduction reaction is favored, so hydroxide ions are stable. Overall, we have a potential versus pH diagram with two parallel lines. Above this line, the evolution of oxygen gas is thermodynamically favored. Below it, the formation of hydroxide ions is favored. Likewise, above this line, the formation of hydrogen ions is favored. Below it, the production of hydrogen gas is favored. This leads to a potential versus pH diagram with three distinct regions. In the central region, water is stable since both hydroxide ions and hydrogen ions are stable, so they combine and form water molecules. Above this line, oxygen is the stable species. Below this line, hydrogen gas is the stable species. This exemplifies the simplest type of Porbet diagram, that of water, which identifies the conditions under which water remains stable. Using a similar approach, we can also construct the Porbet diagram for metals, such as zinc. By writing down all chemical and electrochemical equilibria involving zinc, we generate the various lines on a pH potential diagram, and the lines separate different regions of stability for various zinc species. In this diagram, we find regions where zinc metal, zinc 2 ply, and zinc 8 ions, and zinc hydroxide are stable. Hence, under conditions of pH and potential below these lines, reduction of zinc ions in the solution to form metallic zinc is the thermodynamically favored reaction. In such region, corrosion is thermodynamically impossible, and we call this region the immunity regions. Conversely, if zinc metal faces conditions of pH and potential above these lines, the corrosion of zinc is thermodynamically feasible, as zinc 2 plus becomes the stable species. At higher pH levels, corrosion becomes thermodynamically feasible as zincate ions are the stable species under such conditions. Conversely, at intermediate pH levels, the stable species is zinc hydroxide. In this region, 
Even though the metal can oxidize thermodynamically, the formation of a solid zinc hydroxide film acts as a barrier between the metal surface and the aqueous environment, significantly slowing the rate of corrosion. Therefore, we refer to this region, characterized by a protective zinc hydroxide film, as a passive region, and we say that in these conditions the material is passive. Another valuable insight from these diagrams can be obtained by overlapping zinc equilibria lines with the equilibrium lines of hydrogen and oxygen. This overlay allows us to determine which reactions serve as the cathodic processes in conditions that promote corrosion. For instance, with zinc, it is observed that during free corrosion, both the hydrogen evolution reaction and the oxygen reduction reaction are thermodynamically viable, given that the equilibrium line for zinc oxidation is consistently below those corresponding to hydrogen and oxygen reactions. Copper is more noble than zinc, and its region of immunity extend towards significantly higher potential values. At low pH and relatively high potential, copper tends to oxidize, forming copper ions, with oxygen reduction as the only feasible cathodic reaction, as the line for copper oxidation lies beneath that for oxygen reduction. Conversely, hydrogen evolution is not thermodynamically viable during copper corrosion, as its line always sits below the copper oxidation line. In high pH conditions, copper has passive behavior indicated by the formation of stable oxide or hydroxide films on its surface. Aluminum exhibits behavior opposite to that of copper and somewhat similar to zinc, except that the immunity region for aluminum is at much lower potentials. With respect to pH, aluminum corrodes at both low and high pH levels, but remains passive in the intermediate range where stable films can form on the surface. For aluminum, there is a consistently high driving force for both hydrogen evolution and oxygen reduction during corrosion across all pH levels, as the oxidation lines for aluminum are substantially lower than those for hydrogen evolution and oxygen reduction. Gold, which is even nobler than copper, is characterized by oxidation lines that are well above those associated with oxygen reduction and hydrogen evolution. This indicates a lack of thermodynamic force for corrosion under ordinary aqueous conditions, which explains why gold typically exists in its metallic state in nature. At extremely high potentials and pH levels, gold may potentially oxidize, though at lower pH levels, it exhibits passivity due to the presence of stable surface films. This was just a very brief introduction on pore by diagrams. If you are interested in a more detailed discussion, or you would like to know more about the use of Porbe diagrams in specific scenarios, please visit us on Corazon.com, where our courses discuss this and many other topics in much more detail.